Hello, I'm Dr. Ron Feldman, and if you're watching this video, it's probably because your biopsy has confirmed you have a blistering skin disease known as pemphigoid, and more specifically, a type of pemphigoid known as mucous membrane pemphigoid, or MMP. You probably have many questions and concerns, and this video will try to answer many of them in a brief and informative way. If you still have questions after watching, please feel free to discuss them with me. Pemphigoid is a very rare disease and is commonly misdiagnosed. Many of my patients see multiple doctors about the condition before reaching our clinic. You are most likely frustrated, confused, concerned, maybe even angry and afraid. This is understandable. So, let me begin by telling you that you have made it to the right place. The Emory Department of Dermatology is one of the main referral centers for pemphigoid in the southeast and not only treats patients, but also has labs conducting research into understanding the disease better and developing new treatments. Skin diseases like pemphigoid are my area of expertise and focus. And I, along with the staff here at Emory Dermatology, have successfully treated many patients with your condition. I will always be honest with you. Let me start by telling you that, despite a lot of promising and ongoing research, at this time there is not a cure for pemphigoid. However, it is a manageable disease. And with the proper medications, treatment, and care, we are able to help most patients put the disease into remission and lead normal, comfortable lives. Before we meet and discuss your particular details, let me answer some basic questions that many first-time patients have. I have found that it helps to illustrate the answers to some of these questions, which I will do here with the use of a whiteboard. However, because I don't draw nearly as fast as I speak, you will notice we have increased the speed of the illustrations. I'll begin with one of the most obvious. What is mucous membrane pemphigoid? MMP is a rare autoimmune disease that causes blistering lesions that primarily affect the skin in various mucous membranes of the body, especially of the mouth, and eyes, as well as the nose, throat, genitals, or anus. So, what is an autoimmune disease? It is an inappropriate response of the body's natural defenses against substances and tissues normally present. Normally, your immune system acts like a shield or barrier, represented here by the blue line, protecting you from infections, viruses, and dangerous bacteria. An autoimmune disease occurs when your immune system mistakenly believes some of your body's healthy cells are putting your body at risk and is attacking them. How can your immune system cause such damage? The immune system is very complex, but in this case, there are two main cells involved. And since these cells are your body's defenders, it might help to think of them as soldiers. So there are T cells, which are the generals, and B cells, which are the frontline soldiers. For an example of how it works normally, think about when you get the flu. The general T cells are alerted to the presence of the flu virus, and they give orders to the B cells, the soldiers, to attack the flu virus. The soldiers do this by producing antibodies, your body's version of bullets, which the soldier B cells fire at the flu virus in massive numbers. These antibodies attach to the invading flu virus and destroy it. In the case of mucous membrane pemphigoid, however, the generals have mistakenly identified healthy and very useful proteins in your body as a threat. Proteins that are located between the dermis and epidermis layers of your skin in what is known as the basement membrane zone. The technical name for these proteins is hemidesmosomal BP antigens, but you can think of them as the glue that holds the layers of your skin together. For some unknown reason, your general T cells have issued a red alert to your B cell soldiers against these glue proteins, and the soldiers have gone on the attack, producing antibodies that have attached to and destroyed the glue. This causes the upper layer of your skin, the epidermis, to separate from the lower layer, the dermis. Fluid then gathers in the area where the skin separates, resulting in inflammation that causes lesions and blistering in your mucous membranes. So you may be wondering, how did I get this? Let me start by reassuring you that it was nothing you did wrong. The good news is that pemphigoid is not contagious. You did not catch it from anyone, and you can't give it to anyone else. Plus, even though genetics plays a role in developing pemphigoid, there's no indication that the disease is hereditary. So if you have children, you can rest at ease since you will not pass it along to them. There are two reasons why you have pemphigoid, DNA and a trigger. Pemphigoid is genetic, meaning that genes making you susceptible to the disease were present in your DNA. However, for the disease to become active took a trigger of some kind. The problem is we still don't know exactly what the triggers are. The research has indicated that it might be stress, infections, or possibly certain medications, or perhaps a combination of the above. Regardless of how exactly you got pemphigoid, the important question is, what can we do about it? Like I said before, there is no cure at this time. However, it is treatable and manageable. Our goal is to begin and continue treatment to the point of clinical remission, where you are developing no new blisters and all old blisters have healed. 
The choice of treatment of MMP is based upon the sites of involvement, clinical severity, and disease progression. Most often, immune suppressant medications that help stop your T and B cells from attacking are necessary. The most common being prednisone. Some patients can experience a complete or almost complete remission of symptoms within weeks. Then, depending on how active the disease remains, and because it is unhealthy to use steroids long term, we use medications known as steroid sparing agents to keep the disease in check. Severe MMP can also require infusion treatments. However, it is important to keep in mind that there is no therapy that works overnight, and the way you care for your skin and yourself is very important. Skin and oral care, diet, and hygiene play a large role in determining the ultimate success in managing your disease. Pemphigoid can be a serious and painful condition, but is usually only fatal if left untreated, and your path to getting better is about to begin. However, that path may not be an easy one. Pemphigoid and its treatments can be debilitating, cause lost time at work, sleep loss, weight gain, and emotional distress. But with treatment, blisters usually heal and stop forming, and many patients are able to have long periods of remission. I hope learning about pemphigoid, what it is, how it works, and how it is treated has helped address some of your questions and concerns. I will be happy to answer whatever questions you still have when we meet. Once again, rest assured you are in good hands, and know that everyone here at the Emory Department of Dermatology will do everything we can to help as you begin the process of taking back control of your life. Thank you for watching.